this morning. Sometimes it can be pretty tough to get kids to eat their veggies, but as children get settled back into school, a Jersey food company is promising them the freshest and the tastiest vegetables possible. News from New Jersey's Jim Murdoch tagged along with a few crates of tomatoes picked right off the vine onto the lunch tray. Our journey begins in rural Warren County as Lynn Mahoney and her staff from Mascio's Food Service walk the rows of cherry tomatoes on Zip's farm in Washington Township, gathering what soon will be a tasty lunch for elementary school students an hour away. Freshness being picked, there's nothing better than just picking tomatoes right off the vine, slicing them right up, cutting them right up, putting them on your lunch. Keith reached out to us um, last year. He had a tremendous amount of produce. We were able to pick it up in laundry baskets, which was great. Um, and then we made this decision together. Wouldn't it be nice if he planted just for us? And the partnership was born on this three acre plot of land filled with veggies all for the kids. It's the first farm to school lunch program in the state. Looking at the clock, it's almost time for lunch. That means it's time to ship these crates of tomatoes to our first stop of the day, the schools in South Plainfield. So come along for the ride. We'll show you what farm to lunch tray really looks like. An hour later, the truck arrives at Franklin Elementary School as kitchen staff wash, prep, and season the cherry tomatoes just in time for the first lunch period of the day. It is exciting to see it come from actually the farm itself, hand-picked, and then to the uh, cafeteria here at Franklin School. So we're kind of small. <laughs> Has anybody here ever seen a yellow tomato? Total time from picking to eating, just under three hours. We can educate our students that this is grown right here in New Jersey. We're still the Garden State. Um, we're excited to bring them to that level. Jim Murdoch, News 12, New Jersey. Well, the farmers at Zip say if the weather cooperates, they should be able to continue to provide fresh farm to school veggies right through the end of October.